Oh, puppy dog. Hello, Beaky. So, someone was asking, how's your bike doing? How's Beaky? And I did a little thing in the past on all the accessories and whatnot that I had purchased because, you know, apparently I like spending money on crap. So, I thought I would do an update to that. <clears throat> and the dog is here for fun. And that dog's also here for fun. And Beaky's in the sun. But I'm not riding it. At any rate, that's how life goes. So I did the uh, version one. I talked about the... Where's my finger? There it is. Crash guards and um, oil cooler guard and the little rubber baby buggy bumper bump stop thing. Um, some other stuff, but uh, I thought I would do an update. So, the first big one is I got panniers. Again, apparently I'm still supporting Tour Tech. Um, I got these uh, Zega Pros and I got the big old ones. So which size? The big ones. Um, the reason why I got the big ones is because this one, which is the full size one or the whole one, depending, because some people will buy this one and it, it's just straight here. I got the one with a cutout, um, but either way, on the other side, if you get the big ones, I think this is 45 liter helmet fits in there, and that's one of the things I really kind of wanted. Um, it even fits in there with a little bit of extras, it's uh, rain gear. Um, so I really like the, the Zegas. Oh my. What do you do with all the motorcycle stickers? You know, because I generally don't put stickers on the outside of my bike. Uh, I don't know, it's just a thing with me. Uh, so, but they don't get lost. They, uh, they all get used, they all have a life. Uh, so there you go. And my scuba tanks are coated with stickers, so I had to find another place to put them. At any rate, um, so yeah, uh, I'm, okay, I'll try to do the same thing as last time. I will go and point out what I got, and then I'll tell you what I think of it. And I'll try to be quicker than last time. So, those are new. Oop, where's my finger again? Those are new. Sorry, I'm still on my phone, you know, so, uh, horrible quality, but maybe I'll get better. And this is new. I have that skid plate and uh, Tour Tech. It's from Tour Tech. Uh, I like the black anodized. I like the look of it. And, you know, for the most part, they're all very similar. Just think about the mount method. Um, and then, you know, once made of. Uh, underneath, I don't know even if you can remotely see that. What the hell is that? Oh, that's my engine. Uh, it's really hard for me to do this. Maybe it would be better if I weren't an idiot. But, you know, at any rate, they also sell down underneath there a hardened steel piece that goes directly under the engine. And then the, the uh, uh, crash plate attaches to that. And I could get black anodized aluminum for the crash plate, which goes with my bike. I also got this extension, which I would highly suggest, unfortunately. They don't sell it in black or anything, because, you know, that would be convenient to match the skid plate. Of course, it, the cutout and the shape of it matches the skid plate. If you've seen my videos, you've seen my bike on the side, and it makes a nice, smooth transition all the way across. Uh, that one is, a, I think it's a stainless steel. And I'm not entirely happy with the design, but it is functional, so that's okay. But it doesn't come in black. So I had it powder coated, so it's no big deal. Um, wow, I'm just looking and Beaky needs a bath here. So I, again, I'm talking about them rather than pointing out what I got. Okay, so uh, crash guard, crash guard extension, and then that hardened support plate underneath. Clear water lights. Um, uh, one of those uh, protectors for the headlight. Um, hits from bugs. What else did I add? I don't think I've added that much. The the um, bags. I got rid of my um, GPS. I think was mounted here the last time I did this. 
And I got a Montana GPS and then the Touratech mount and then a, that's the Montana cradle. Um, and then what else? Aha. This box back here, which uh, is a royal pain. And uh, I can even bend its mount a little bit. Um, and that's just to put tools and whatnot in. So let's see really quickly. Is there anything else? that has been added. Um, you know, I can't really think of anything. Um, okay, oh good. It means I'm spending less money in theory. Okay, so, quick around. This little eyebrow thing came with this, and um, so I got the eyebrow thing. I like that. It's simple to put on, and uh, it keeps light from reflecting up into this windshield, which will sort of make the windshield try to glow, and that can be an issue. Um, you probably don't need it if you don't have this thing on here, and this is one of those pop-off things. Um, so a lot of them are like that now so that you can clean them or whatnot, and I think some places they're illegal or illegal. I don't really like how they connect here. Again, this tour tech. I got way too much there. Tour tech. There's their label. They really should pay me as an endorser. Um, but six and one half dozen the other for the most part. I don't really like the way they mount to the stalks on the um, blinkers, but um, almost all of them mount exactly the same way, whatever manufacturer they are. So, eh, people have been using them for a long time. They don't seem to cause a problem with that. Um, because if you've never taken these off, they're sort of keyed. They go in and turn. Well, when you put that bracket in there, it doesn't really fit anymore, and I didn't want to chew up the stalks. However, I've also knocked these stalks back twice, so I figured they were already chewed up. So, all in all, there you go. I'm not sure how worth it it is. I know if you take the light out, you're in trouble for getting home. Um, it saves a little bit. Uh, it certainly has had rocks bouncing off of it and whatnot. It just makes sense. Um... If I'd had to pay a lot for it, I wouldn't have. Uh, and it probably is fine without it for the most part. Yes, people do break them, but quite a lot of people don't break their headlights. So it's probably just fluff. Clear water lights. Um, these things are freaking wonderful. And they now have uh, different ones. I think these are like Erica's or Jonah's or Lisa's or Mary's or whatever. They have names for their headlights or their lights. These are the bigger ones with the three Cree elements. Now they make one in the same body size. It has like five elements and it's much brighter. Uh, or they make the same uh, elements in a smaller bezel. Uh, I think that's what that would be called, enclosure. Uh, me, I just took these. and Well, where am I at? I got a little spacer from Ace Hardware. That's nylon. I painted it black and bracketed it onto the brackets that came with my upper crash guard, assuming I had their lights, uh, which I don't have, but that's okay. These mounted on just, just as easily. Um, sorry, I'm out in the sun. I cannot see the, uh, the LCD much to know what I'm filming. So that makes a brilliant video, doesn't it? You idiot. Anyway, these lights, I really like them. They draw almost no power. They're very, very durable. I have, well, I haven't broke one yet and I'm not gentle. Um, I can run them all day long, uh, um, during the day, whatnot, I run them, and I just turn the uh, volume, as it were, down, and you get a little potentiometer control. Um, that's all the way up, and that's all the way down. All the way down, I think, is about 20%, and um, all the way up is like 80%. It's not actually full percent. In order to get to full power, you have to... Uh, basically wire them into your high beams. Uh, you could wire them differently and trick them into full power, but their kit, which I thought was reasonable, so I just went ahead with their kit, that is, um, uh, no matter what this volume is set on to, volume, I keep calling it volume, um, if you hit your flashers, or if you go to your high beams, they come on full power. Also, I have mine wired up to if you hit the horn, they go up to full power, they flash at full power, which is kind of nice, a little visual with the audio. Um, <clears throat> so there you go, lights, definitely worth it, and the clear water I really like, small, lightweight, incredibly bright, 
Um, and their range is just unbelievable. Uh, they're very clear and cool color, but uh, so it's not good for filming, but who cares? That's not what you have it for. Um, so I like them. Watch which way angle you put them. They're really, really bright. Uh, going back here, let's see, I modified these guys. I got this idea from Rich Perkins. Uh, I met at a rally somewhere. He had his BMW panniers modified. I need a longer one of those. This is just a power lip kit. And uh, what works well is since I have the cutout, which is a partially ugh, which is a partially useless space, um, the pass-through just allows me to plug other things in. I can't remember. I think Burns Moto is where I got this little USB device. It's SAE to USB, dual USB. And it uh, it does have little circuit protectors in there, so it's properly 5 watts, watts, volts, you know, that kind of thing. I just leave it in there. Of course, I haven't changed the wiring on my underseat wire, so this only charges anything while the bike's on and running, or for five minutes thereafter, but you could easily change that around. And um, another thing Rich Perkins had was um, I had one of those little jump start batteries, and he basically charged it all day long through his cable here, and I thought, oh, well, that would work. Um, and that allows you to use it later for whatever reason. It's just a piece of cardboard taped in. Um, I don't know if you can see that down there. Um, uh, just to make a little tray so the things don't fall out into the bleh, into the bag area here. I do like the idea of these bags. The panniers come off easily enough but not quickly enough. So the bags are nice because you just yank out the bags. I don't typically keep one on the other side, but I do use it if I go traveling. The other side just holds my helmet, and this holds all the shit I don't need. So that was kind of quick and dirty. Um, that's 10 inches. You need longer than 10 inches if you have a TourTech panniers, and you're going to your under seat. You know, this is 2012, so it's an oil cold. Um, you need longer than 10 inches, 12 inches to even 18 inches. If you had 18, you could just run it back and wrap it or cut them short. Um, it's very, very easy. So keep that in mind. 12 minutes. Wow. You damn, you just yabber on about nothing, don't you? So I already kind of talked about the skid plates. I have slid over tons of rocks on those and just bashed them like mad. Both of them are, are doing great. Um, and they look okay. Uh, looks aren't terribly important, but they're somewhat important. Help the dog here. He doesn't know how to work a leash. Most dogs do, but not that one. Okay. Um, GPS. I got a different GPS. As I swing and zoom around here. Um, so... The GPS is okay. I understand that BMW came out with a Mark V, and not surprisingly, um, they worked with Garmin on it. And, uh, come on, get in there. There we go. Putting it upside down again. Nope, everything good. There it goes. I understand uh, BMW worked with uh, Garmin to make a Mark V. Uh, BMW Navigator, you don't necessarily need that, though it's nice, it has push buttons, that kind of thing, because Garmin, shortly thereafter, just recently, has come out with a Zumo, which is their motorcycle series, 590 or something like that, but the point is, it includes off-road kind of characteristics and features, and that would probably be a go-to device for me if I were getting another one. I'm not going to, this one works fine. Uh, and I'm tired of paying money for shit like that. As far as this uh, Tour Tech locking clampy thing, so I don't have to screw down the top on the Garmin thing, I don't really like it so much. I mean, I can, I could basically flex that out of there. Uh, it's kind of pointless, but I had it, so it was there, and I hadn't bothered to take it off. Take it off after I was annoyed with it. At least it makes it look like it'll be a harder, harder job, and you do get the advantage. If it were as good as my uh, uh, other one from TourTech, you do get the advantage of having it keyed uh, to whatever other TourTech products you have. So, you know, I don't know, six, one, half dozen, either. By the way, that is the light switch for my uh, clear water lights down here. 
if you can see any of this off on I leave it on most of the time I just mounted it in there it's small and tiny so uh, if you've ever taken that off that's just a little apron that, that sort of pops off you have to be a little careful fitting it in there but it does fit a lot of people just push the switch here but uh, I foolishly thought I needed a bunch of power ports so I have one on each side there La -da -da. Um, so that's all that that's all that wow I think that's pretty much everything uh, I'm not 100% satisfied with the Montana but like I said I'm tired of uh, buying other things this thing is a joke I actually have uh, two videos on it one on when I first got it um, and then one on when I fixed it uh, the idea is great, the execution is crud, and I can't remember whose this is now, but it's one of the popular ones, and it wouldn't have been so bad, except for the fact that, wow, you're paying a premium for them, and, uh, yes, I understand that TourTech and many others have gone to, uh, you know, Kind of like the BMW ones where you don't have to open your pan here to get them off. But unless somebody wants to support me buying new pan here, which aren't cheap. Uh, and handle? Who needs a handle? You always have straps. Come on. Let go. They stay on here a lot. Can you hear all the grit and dust? So, pan here comes off. Nice seat. And then there's that box. I keep thinking I'm going to get one of these uh, locks from TourTech because they're on all my other stuff and modify this lock so I only need the one key, the one extra key. Shin, turn it around, pull it back. Uh, look at the videos, the other two videos. I'm trying to remember to post a link to them, but it was junk. So what I did was um, cleaned it up, uh, welded some of the corners, got rid of the pop rivets, um, in other words, remanufactured it, and then the guys that were painted it for me, they powder coated it black. They filled in all the sides and smoothed it out with uh, the same kind of bonding compound that's used to hold panels on cars and stuff like that these days. Uh, so it should be incredibly durable, and so far it has proved to be very durable. I had still had to get a little wonky with the attachment method because I. The way they had it, it was bouncing into the frame, and so I dropped it down and tried to push it back. And I just hadn't got very serious about it. But I mean, it's safely okay and 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 out of the way. And now your hand doesn't get cut up and things like that. And you can get quite a lot in there. I have a fair amount of gear in there, which is an air pump, um, WD-40, uh, some uh, cartridges. For reinflating your bike or your tires, reinflating your bike if it's a blow up bike. Um, uh, hand tools to get all this stuff off, and whatnot. I got a few tools under the seat, not much. The supplies like zip ties, things like that. Um, bead pro bead breakers to get the tires off. I know you can use a side stand, but man, the bead pros are just so easy to use. I still carry the BMW tire irons because uh, I actually like using those. But it's also pretty good to have three or four tire irons. I've never carried four before, but I do now. Um, uh, and the rest of my tools just hide in here. Usually quick access stuff like Ziploc bags and uh, stuff like that. And my hand pump, air pump. Looks like my neighbor's coming out. So at any rate... Um, I think that's about it. That's all I got. Um, the, uh, I don't think there's anything else on it that's new or that I hadn't showed anybody before. So, I don't know. There's a lot of dirt on it and dead bugs. I need to wash it. Other than that, um, same thing. Okay, this will probably go nowhere. My word, I'm up to 19 minutes again. It's uh, just a shame. All right, that's it. Take care. Don't be like me. Go riding instead. Bye.